God's voice, it's not just when you are praying or when you are like, I mean, doing spiritual things. I believe hearing God's voice is, is for every part of your life, whether you are in ministry or whether you, you are doing something totally different, you know, because hearing God's voice comes from the place of the Spirit. My name is David Kala. I was born in Zimbabwe. We worked with, with Youth Mission in Zimbabwe, Australia, and I currently live in Sweden. And this week I've been teaching on the Discipleship Training School here in Brittany on the topic Hearing God's Voice and the Holy Spirit. What stood out for me about uh, the speaker David was that he was very passionate, so passionate about what he was talking about and um, he'd had a lot of experience. He was just such an inspiring um, teacher. He just, he told us so many stories about his life and you could just see how passionate he was for God and all the things God did. And, it just, it made you be like, wow, I want that. And he was very interactive and encouraged us to um, ask questions if we had any um, queries and stuff. So I really like that. It's been an amazing week with the students and also the staff, just being able to impart faith and creative ways how God speaks to us. And it's so easy when you've got a group of people that are just so hungry that really wants to know and really have strong foundation because many tend to come from different denominations where they've been taught for the Holy Spirit, all against the Holy Spirit, where many don't even believe that God can speak. But it was a week of trying to break it down that God desires to speak to us. And it all comes down from a place of intimacy and relationship with him and his loving father that desires to speak to his loving children. We often think God's going to speak in a big audible voice or write something on a wall or make it really obvious, but he actually often speaks in a still small voice. So we need to listen out for that and tune in our frequency to his voice. And um, there is a difference between um, listening and obeying. And um, if we hear God speaking, then we should obey. And also that um, God sometimes gets angry, but it doesn't change the way he treats us. Um, another thing is the fact that we are a spirit living in a body, and um, we shouldn't stop praying until we get a breakthrough. Some of the things I learned was that God speaks well. <laughs> I think a lot of the times I get frustrated because I think that I can't hear God and I get stressed out, but the thing is, God is God and he can speak to me and he is going to speak to me, so that was really cool. Um, and I just, I felt really challenged to actually live my faith and not just, um, you know, say I believe things or worry or fear, but to really base my life on what Jesus is and who he is and let him be real for me. Because so many people today, um, they're, they're looking, you know, to make a difference or to make a change, but they get so bored with Christianity, you know, they just go to church and they see their parents' faith and they get frustrated because they think God doesn't want to talk to them or God's boring. Um, then they do their own thing and, I don't know, they're just, they're not at peace. I want people to understand how God is a loving God who desires to speak to them. Because It's definitely relevant for us as Christians to know who the Holy Spirit is and his character and nature helps us to understand him and the way he acts. God does have a plan for everyone and he is willing, he's so willing to work in their lives, but it's, it's just up to us to really say, yeah, God, I want you to. So every child of God should be able to hear God's voice. Every DTS student should be able to live the DTS being able to hear God's voice. And it's for your daily relationship with God, not because you're called into ministry.